Quite simply, where is Messi going to be playing his football next season? Uh, look, we know that Barcelona can't afford Lionel Messi. So the question really is, who else can Fan, afford yeah. him? Is there anybody out there who can afford him? The one club who have held talks about signing him, who are holding talks at the moment about signing him, are PSG. Now, obviously, we know that uh, PSG are effectively owned by the Qatari state, so they would be able to afford him. Uh, but it is still going to be very, very tricky for them uh, because of financial fair play rules, mm. because French football has financial fair play rules like all the big leagues in Europe. Now, the wages that Lionel Messi is asking for um, are in the region of about a million pounds a week. And when you look at PSG's wage bill, their wage bill at the moment is about four hundred million pounds a year and to put that in perspective in french football mm -hmm. it is three times as much as the next club the next club in french football Lyon, their wage bill is about 125 million pounds goodness me so psg's wage bill is already 400 million pounds now if they were to sign messi it would go up probably by an another 50 million pounds so they would have to get creative when it comes to accounting uh, to comply with the financial fair play rules and at the moment they're already on course to make losses of about 250 million pounds which is why we know they need to sell players to try and balance the books now they've already actually bought players uh, this summer they signed Ashraf Hakimi uh, from Inter for about 50 million pounds then they bought some out of contract players but they gave them big, big wages. Donnarumma, Sergio Ramos, win out them. So there is the will there to sign Lionel Messi. Uh, obviously, as far as PSG uh, are concerned, they would be signing the most famous player in the world, uh, a player who some people, a lot of people would say is the greatest ever player uh, to play the game. And the final point I would make is it would be a PR coup because yeah. PSG are owned by the Qatari state. The World Cup next uh, year is going to be in Qatar. How great would it be for mm. Qatar to have Lionel Messi playing for PSG, their club? His face would be everywhere on billboards all around the world. Mm. And obviously they could offer him a deal going forward as well, a type of ambassadorial deal where he would represent Qatar when he retires. So those are the kind of options on the table. But as things stand, if he really is never going to play for Barcelona again, at the moment, his most likely destination is Paris. I'm going to bring you in in a minute. Hold your thoughts, because uh, we can hear now on potentially Messi's new match, I guess, if he goes to PSG, that would be Maurizio Pochettino. Let's hear from him now. Pero... Eh, creo que la tensión máxima es ganar eh, contra Troyes, empezar bien la temporada y que podamos hacer un buen, un buen partido y, y lógicamente que paralelamente el área deportiva con Leonardo y, y nuestro presidente están trabajando en la labor de poder eh, bueno, mejorar al equipo en lo que podamos. ¿no? OK, look, that's the PSG side of things then. And we heard at the top of the show Tim Vickery saying, you know, don't bank on him not being a Barcelona player. Explain the situation then. How could that even happen if it could, Dan? Yeah, and Samra Hunter at the yeah. time said as well there could mm. be a U-turn. There was a U-turn yeah. this time last summer when Lionel Messi wanted to leave. If you take everything that Joan Laporta, though, is saying at face value, it would appear that there's no way back for Messi at Barcelona. The figures just simply do not add up for mm. Barcelona and Lionel Messi. Barca, make no mistake about it, they did try. Messi and his camp, they did try. They tried a two-year payment over five years. So they have him Lionel for five Messi. years, but they'd pay him for just two. Exactly, right. and they even started to talk about just a simple two-year contract, and it was just not conducive mm. to La Liga's regulations. Remember, they were talking about the economic and the structural obligations of La Liga. It just was not fitting that mold that La Liga had set with their rules and their regulations. The only way I think the deal could have worked is if Barca had agreed 
to the La Liga deal with the private equity firm CVC, whereby they will bring in more money for La Liga. Hence, the clubs would be more cash rich and hence they yeah. could potentially do a deal. But Barca don't agree with that deal because, as Jean Laporte had said, he thinks that that kind of deal would mortgage the club for half a century. I think this is a little bit sad in one way as well compared to last summer. There's a real difference what happened last summer and what's happening this summer. Last summer, Lionel Messi wanted to leave. He wanted to leave Barcelona. There was that big dispute about his contract. He, could he go for free? Could Barca charge a transfer fee? This time, look, Barca wanted Messi to stay. Messi wanted to stay at Barcelona. Mm. There was a mutual agreement in place for them to have Lionel Messi for at least two years playing time, what he would do thereafter, given what Laporte is saying about the potential deals they were trying to strike. The fact of the matter is, at 34 years of age, they were going to have him for another two years minimum playing. And thereafter, would he be an ambassador? Would he leave Barcelona? Would they continue to pay him? That's by the by now. But so people at home are going to be sort of saying, why doesn't he just, you know, play for the absolute minimum? Well, they've negotiated deals whereby 50 or 60 percent of his wages were down. I mean, we can say. We won't really understand mm. to earn how much, what it means to earn that much money, but I guess there's a status involved with it as well. Cristiano Ronaldo often talks about, you know, wanting to be the best paid player, wanting to be the most expensive signing. There's a kudos that goes with that. And why shouldn't Messi get paid what he's worth? Because there'll be people at home screaming at the, the screen now, Dan, saying that. it's an obscene amount of money. We've been through a pandemic. Can't he play for this? You know, if he really wants to stay at Barcelona, cut his salaries and, to that. And we have been through a pandemic, but yet Barcelona find themselves in this position mm. because of the pandemic and how they've conducted their spending in the past few years because of it. If you look at that, there could have been three ways they could have kept Messi. I'm, I'm throwing these out there. One, pay everyone else in the squad a little bit less to fund wow. Messi's contract. <laughs> we need with that one. Messi's contract, as you said. Yeah. Or La Liga to change their rules mm. to allow Barcelona to keep Messi. That last one is highly unlikely, if not impossible. And even if Barcelona had made transfers out of the club, even if they'd renegotiated lots of players' contracts, even if they'd renegotiated Messi's contract to what you're saying to get him yeah. on a minimum amount of money per week, we're told such is Barcelona's financial mire that even that wouldn't have helped Gosh. to keep Lionel Messi. So as it stands, it looks like Messi and Barcelona is a no-go. It also looks like Messi to Manchester City might be a no-go because this is what Pep Guardiola had to say when he was asked the question earlier on today. Leo will continue to Barcelona, so right now it's not in our thoughts.